Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that they Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. The controversial songs in the battle. We're about to compare them both. Taylor Made Freestyle and Meet the Grams. Taylor Made Freestyle, of course, by Drake. Meet the Grams by Kendrick Lamar. Let's get right into it. Now, if you've been watching these, you already know the criteria to rate each song is the beat, flow and style, the angle and the accuracy, the lyrics, the timing that it was released, and the marketing of the record that's the title and everything that fits into uh how the record was packaged so without further ado let's get right into it all right the beat meet the grams now the beat is not all that just by itself i, I like the beat it's not real you know it's not a real popular style beat so to speak it's an alchemist beat um it's more of an underground hip-hop beat but for what kendrick was using it for i have to give it a five excellent excellent dark you can't get any darker than that beat and of course the content of the song it fit perfectly taylor made freestyle this is gonna be controversial because i've i've heard people say that the beat is garbage it's trash i grew up with that style i grew up with dr dre 2000 dr dre and that dark deep hip-hop style that's the style that made 50 cent eminem a lot of stars made a lot of good records off of that style i love the beat it's a five for me um very good uh attempt at copying that dr dre style if there wasn't a dr dre who knows but anyway uh so they both get a five in that one it's a push on the beat now flow and style meet the grams it was it was it was eerie he did a good job on it it wasn't the best job i feel so i gave it a four and a half same thing with taylor may freestyle it was okay. It wasn't great. It was, you know, I mean, because we we comparing them against themselves. They both are elite artists and MCs. So I'm comparing them against themselves. I gave both of them a four and a half on the flow and style of each record. Now I give Drake a, more points. You know, the flow wasn't that great, but flowing as Tupac as Snoop, give him points for that. So four and a half. The angle and the accuracy. Now this is where it gets sticky. Meet the Grams. The the daughter thing drops a point it just has to i'm sorry i love the angle and the accuracy he he was talking to drake's soul a lot in that record unless the daughter thing comes true i can't change this um is true i should say if it's not then it's a four for me on meet the grams taylor made freestyle was a five he didn't miss in the angle of the, the accuracy of his angle in that record he didn't tell one lie in taylor made freestyle now lyrics Meet the Grams. I have to give it a five just because if you watch my breakdown, lyrics explain the lyrics have a crazy double meaning um, with the names uh, and the meanings of the names of each person that he named in the record. Now, Taylor made freestyle lyrics. It was a four. I mean, yes, it was cool. Him rapping his new him rapping his pop, but the lyrics was just kind of plain because it was just a jab of a song. It wasn't really a song that was made to be super lyrical, anything like that. This is when he was trying to get Kendrick to come out and he was baiting him out and telling him where you at. So it's not like it was meant to be super lyrical. So I only gave it a four. Now the timing of when they were released. Now Meet the Grams is the most dynamically and diabolically timed record in the history of music probably to be released. When he dropped that, what, like six minutes after Drake dropped Family Matters. That was the best timing in the world. I give it a five in the timing. I also give Taylor May Freestyle a five in the timing. People are forgetting, you know, we we not we're not remembering the moment of Taylor May Freestyle coming out. This is when Kendrick was, I believe, quiet for about a week, right? After Drake dropped push-ups. And this was Drake's back-to-back -back again attempt. And after Taylor May Freestyle came out, a lot of people forget that they were saying that Kendrick was scared. That's what people were saying. Remember, academics put the little clock. He was counting the days and everybody was talking stuff. And Drake was begging him at the end of the record to come out. So I love the timing of Taylor Made Freestyle. So that gets a five as well. Now, the marketing of each record. <clears throat> I think it goes without saying that Meet the Grams again. Um, the picture and all the innuendo and all of the mystery behind the picture and the 
the, the prescriptions and the glove and it was perfect it was perfect marketing uh, especially for the dark nature of the song uh that's a five now with taylor may freestyle it's a four why because it would be a five if they had gotten permission to use tupac's voice the fact that they did not get permission for that from the estate that makes it a four i mean i like it personally because i like going there in a battle and being messy and I don't, I don't care about your side but at the same time it's disrespectful and a little bit dangerous i may say if i may say so myself uh to do that without permission so i give it a four so I'm, i made this one quick i'm going through this one quick because there's no need to prolong it final score meet the grams with a 29 out of 30 taylor made freestyle with a 27 and a half out of 30 let's put up the poll so with roughly a little over 1700 votes meet the grams wins 87 percent to 13 percent kendrick lamar continues to dominate the poll voting as i said before drake fans are just not really dedicated um to <laughs> to his success but um yeah i mean that it is what it is i think uh taylor made freestyle didn't age very well just because i think if if drake had had the cooperation of tupac's estate and snoop it would have made the track a little bit more um it would have added a little more weight to the uh, popularity of the track but uh i liked it especially at the time that it was dropped uh meet the grams i like meet the grams too but meet the grams to me even though i rated it at a 29 out of 30 it, it went too far it was too much unless that stuff is true and if drake does have a daughter that's tough um but other than that i didn't love it that much because i just i just felt it was a little too much it was a little too much for a rap battle um i think both of them went a little too far same thing with using tupac's voice without permission is a little too much for this battle but these two really do not like each other they obviously don't like each other they haven't liked each other for years almost over a decade really not even almost it's been over a decade they haven't liked each other if you go back and listen to all the interviews about control and even a little bit before that um yeah they just don't see eye to eye and i think this is something that was meant to happen eventually and 2024 why not happen in 2024 the year of beef and controversy and revealing of the truth so let me know what you think in the comments below do you agree with my scorecard uh, i'm gonna put up uh, a post and a poll of course asking if you agree with the scorecard did i rate taylor may freestyle too? i'm sure people think that uh did i give meet the grams a pass for kendrick not exactly being totally truthful about the daughter as far as we know right now let me know in the comments below hit that like button hit that share button hit that subscribe button as i'm losing my voice thank y'all for watching as always and we out